Hi, my name is Mariam Tadros, and I want to share with you a bit about the Coptic Orthodox Church. The word Coptic, for those that don't know, come from, comes from the ancient word meaning Egyptian, and Egypt being the home of the church, the heritage that I was privileged to be born into. The Coptic Orthodox Church is one of the oldest denominations of Christianity, founded by St. Mark, the Gospel writer, in the middle of the first century. The Coptic Church sits within the family of Oriental Orthodox Churches, alongside our Syrian, Indian, Ethiopian and Armenian sister churches, and closely related to the family of Eastern Orthodox Churches. The Church holds its original home in Alexandria, with the Patriarch and Pope as the head of the Church. The current Patriarch of the Church is Pope Tawadros II, who is the 118th Patriarch of the Church, and there is a direct succession from St. Mark to His Holiness today. The Church is also well known as being one of the founding traditions of monasticism, with St. Anthony, the first monk heading into the desert of Egypt in the 4th century. Since then, the Church has weaved in much of its wisdom and spirituality from the desert fathers and mothers, who continue to this day to be a key characteristic of the Church's life with over 30 active monasteries and convents currently in Egypt and others outside. The Coptic Church has also carried the title of being the Church of the Martyrs, having over its history lost countless souls to political and religious persecution, including even in the last decade. Many have said how the Church should never have survived the levels of persecution it faces, but in fact, what we've seen is that the church has always grown uh, with every wave of sorrow and has always responded non-violently. Always with the prayer of Kyrie Eleison on its lips, seeking the mercy of God. And for example, on Good Friday every year, the entire church says 400 Kyrie Eleisons, 100 each to the north, south, west and east of the church, covering the entire world in the mercy of God. Today, the church in Egypt is the largest in the Middle East, with between 15 to 20 million members. And in the lands of immigration, around 2 million members across North America, Australia, Europe, and smaller pockets elsewhere. The church today continues with its sacramental life, with the Eucharist at the heart of our routine together. Chanted in, ancient, in the ancient Coptic language, Arabic, and outside of Egypt in the colloquial language. So here in the UK, where I live, uh, that would be English. There is a vibrant pastoral service, Sunday schools, Bible studies, youth services, catechesis, and even an annual Coptic festival that runs across the globe. The church today is still built on the seven sacraments, the traditions of the early church, the spiritualities of the desert, the community of saints that have gone before us, the rich history that we have survived, the families that are the heartbeat of the congregation, the youth who hold the future of the church, and all underpinned by the mercy and strength of God to continue to do day-to-day -to -day life together.